Wir konnten. Nee, maar die naar links is er niet. Toch gaan ze er zijn. Oh ja, ik ben baas. Nee, ja. Please give a very, very warm welcome to Finley Farms. business out of the way first. The Lord Lion King at Arms has given a special dispensation on the Highland Dress Code for this particular event. <laughs> he has permitted the bullets. This poem's in Doric, but some of you will know and some of you won't. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that, that's, that's one of my students. <laughs> For those of you who know it, it's probably a good laugh if I get it right. For those of you who don't, you will have ample opportunity to regret a grave oversight in your linguistic explorations. <laughs> the poem is, is by Ian Middleton. It's a really good poem. I'll tell you that beforehand, just in case I'm like a sotero. Uh, and it's called A Question A Menace. Jock Strach was bustling. Fair brunt to the reeds, and a boot and a swipe to his crew till his quit. He was all fine and fiachy and fab at his wheel. So he turned his attention and food to get quill. He thought to the beach, but ah, uh, there was our far in no inclination for yoke in the car. So he said to himself, I can I be a duke, the dam, be a dummy, you a tea for a duke. There was nothing to hinder him as far as he could tell. There was nobody about but the jukes in himself. The option was there, and he went into target. So he tied off his clays and he loped and yacked. <laughs> he came down in the stomach with sickle and clout that he steered through the bottom of a cloud of jukes. <laughs> Trappings. The water was freezing, his breath gave a and when it came back to the woodwork, ah! <laughs> he could ease week of time and was sweet to go out, reliving his youth as he came at the boot. He swam in his belly, sang onto his back, and he spooted and splashed and did nothing but quack. <laughs> Meg Mitchell, wheel kick for inquisitive edge, was pulling him on rasps at the side of the ditch that ran into the dam from Jockey was Dukin. And she crawled through the bushes to see if it was cooking. <laughs> Jock, by this time, was out, the entire was fun, and was lying in his guts, drying off in the sun. When a face from the bushes cries, For the little bun, I can see my bare cheeks in your deep like bun. <laughs> Jock, Jack with a flout and loud till his feet, trying hard to look decent and beat a retreat. He grabbed his bonnet with commend all speed. And he clapped it on for tweed in his street. <laughs> As he stood there, reed faced, cross legged, and sullen, he could have heard the guffaws of Maggie and Cullen as she howled and jogged to the heel of the canal. Would your bonnet be fit better up in your bow? <laughs> I reckon, said Jock, if in your wee game, I'm surprised at you, woman. You ought to think shame. Get him out of that room. I see a gap. It's the height of our men, it's the sound of a gap. Meg, determined at least that should hear the last say, turned and shouted a jog for the heat of the bray. You're taking a man as yourself, come to that. For a gentleman, surely, would you lift it his hat? <laughs> Now, as I was mentioned, 
mentioned last night, I think Jesse's had a big association with Orkney over the years, been up to teach in both Scottish country and old time, and it's fantastic to have Billy, Lana, and Lorna here from the Orkney Traditional Dance Association. And they've brought down a wee message from the association up in Orkney, so here it goes. Dear Jesse, Against the odds of snow, fog, and a porter gone to bed, to Orkney you came and the rest is history, so it's said. We wish you all the best in your retirement come December. With all your Orkney dances, we have a lot to remember. We'll enjoy all the jigging for many years to come and give honour to you now and mention just some. The Orkney Reel, the Midnight Ferry, Lana's Jig and Men of Hoy. An Orkney welcome, Kirk will be, and more to bring us joy. So Jesse, it is a great big thank you that we want to now say for all the folk that are connected with OTDA. So with that we will do the Orkney Reel. So square sets for the Orkney Reel. Dance on one place. 
Come on, Delaney. <laughs> <laughs> half the time, Delaney, by time, is in the ladies of the middle. Ladies, half a wheel is in the middle zone. One place, join up and say it. Half a wheel in the middle is the main dance zone. One place, turn the man into the middle. Half a wheel in the middle is the ladies' dance zone. Join up and set. Half a wheel in the middle is the ladies' dance zone. Turn the ladies into the middle. Half a wheel in the middle is the men dance zone. And set. Half a wheel in the middle is the men dance zone. And you set there. Half turn is the men in the middle back to back. So the men in the middle, back to back, facing your partner. You're all set. Men that in. Dance around one place to your right as the ladies pet Mel and turn to your right. Set. Men dance on one place to your right as the ladies pet Mel. Then you turn your partner. Right hand for four. So you finish a promenade hold facing anti clockwise and promenade back now to your own side, to your own place. <laughs> Ones and threes. That's a lady's chain. <laughs> Twos and fours. That's a lady's chain. <laughs> And you finish off with a circle down <laughs> So, find it simple. <laughs> so it begins with half a right hand turn and set. Half a right hand turn and set. Fool shahal your wheels. You finish back in your original place. Then we have the wheels. Half wheel or dance on and set. Half wheel or dance on. Change in and repeat that so you're back with your partner, men in the middle, facing out, and you're facing your partner. All set, men dance round to your right as a lady's pet and Ella. All set, men dance round to your right as a lady's pet and Ella. Turn your partner, right hand for four, then promenade round halfway back to your own place. Once and threes, ladies' chain, twos and fours, ladies' chain, circle out and back. Cross your fingers. <laughs>